Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today inside of this Monster Legends Leaks video, we have a bunch of new leaked movesets, as well as some new leaked events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leaked moveset is going to be for Google, and he is going to be a Magic and Light Controller with Time Stop and Freeze. So, he has a single target Time Stop, he also has an AoE Time Stop, which is really great. He has a single target Stun, he has a Time Stop with an extra turn, which is pretty cool. He also has a single target Time Stop and Freeze, and he has an AoE Stun and a time stop and freeze to all enemies and then he also has an evasion and stamina regen to himself so he seems like he has some pretty good moves right there he doesn't do much but what he does do he does it pretty good if that makes any sense so yeah it does seem like he will be a pretty good monster and then we have a new maze island for Oni Kappa. So Oni Kappa is going to be the maze monster. Definitely go and try to get him out of the maze island and just get whatever you want out of it. Since, of course, it is a maze, it will be free to play and you will be able to do it pretty easily. So, yeah, definitely make sure to participate in that maze. And then we have another moveset for Dumbane. He is going to be a magic and metal tank with hurt and taunt skills. So he has removes 10% life from all enemies, which is pretty good. He also has a 25% heal with life regen. He can block out 50% incoming damage with a heal 30%. He also has a heal 30% with control immunity. He also has a single target stun and then he has to remove 45% total life from one enemy. And he can also apply a daze to one enemy in that same move. And then he has an AoE 30% and he has a 20% single target. So those moves definitely seem up pretty good they're kind of basic but they're still pretty good and then we have a cardboard's description if you want to go and read that and we have that he is going to be the bounty hunt monster so yeah pretty cool and then we have another moveset for baba bashir which is going to be magic and water support with area dodge stamina drain and positive effect removal so it has a low magic damage removes all tortures and gives one extra turn that's pretty interesting oh but it removes all tortures from one enemy which is not very good I don't know why you would want to remove him from one enemy. But I guess the extra turn is cool, I guess. And then you can also go ahead and remove 100% stamina from all enemies and apply a random negative status effect to all enemies. This is a curse to one enemy. You can remove control immunities from all enemies and deal max damage to all enemies and give an extra turn to himself. That's pretty cool. This is an AoE stamina leak. He has an extra turn with he removes evasion from one enemy, which is very specific, but I guess that's okay. And then he has an AoE a curse with remove evasion from from all enemies and he also can remove 100 stamina from one enemy and then he has to remove 50 percent stamina and apply stamina leak to all enemies and then he has to remove positive effects from all enemies that's actually really good with a aoe moderate magic damage and curse and stamina leak that is a very good move right there and then he has an aoe random negative effect and then a single target random negative effect twice which is pretty good so yeah it seems like he's got some decent moves the removes evasion is very specific i'm not sure how good that will be it honestly does not seem too great so yeah, very specific but he does have some good moves in the positive effect removal and stuff like that oh and apparently we also have some skill updates for Cobborg, which is going to be a monster we looked at in one of my last videos so it looks like the first move removes all shields from all enemies and deals moderate dark damage to all enemies that's what it used to do but now it also applies triple damage to itself which is a very good change and then the next one instead of applying shield shatter to one enemy it applies double damage to itself which is also a really good change i feel like both of these changes are just very very good they'll make him a much better monster and then we have the alpine era season 5 checklist if you want to go and read that not everything is confirmed yet but we do have quite a few things confirmed so that is pretty cool so yeah if you want to know where any monsters are going to be go and check that out and yeah that is me for this video let me know down in the comments which monster you guys are most excited for and which one you think is the best i am honestly not sure myself which one is the best they're all pretty decent in their own ways none of them are really bad which is very cool but yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think is the best and i see you in the next one i would like and subscribe goodbye